Good day, human Latios Aid. So this is the Latios Zoo World, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shuffle. So let's begin. So last time we did the first 10 UX stages of Zafiro Coast. This time we're going to keep coasting along with Hippopotas. So, you know what? If I recall, this stage can be a pain, so let's just go uh, semi all in. Alright, so we have 12 moves to do this, so I guess we have 17 moves, plus the disruption delay is up. Alright, let's get as much as we can here. So we're near the Mega Evolution at this point, so that's good. So you know what, let's do that, plus we get an extra turn up disruption delay, which is good. Alright, let's get rid of, we have blocks in the Skyfall, which kind of sucks, not gonna lie. All right. We're getting no activations, which is a problem. And yeah, that's pretty much about it with this. So honestly, I want to get rid of all of the junk that I can here. Not a single activation. What good is the disruption delay if we can't get a single activation out of it? Alright, well... Nothing can be done about it. We just need a combo then if that's all we're gonna get, that's all we're gonna get. Well... Finally, we're getting an activation. Alright, let's do this. So that's some damage. Thank you. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this and this. Here and here, and I think we can do this at this point. There we go! Funny how all that damage happens after the disruption delay wears off, when the disruption delay was actually helping us. I think it's because there was so much junk on the board we had to get rid of. <laughs> so, but with that, we have taken down Hippobatas. So next up is going to be Turtwig. All right. So you know what? We can go Mega Pincer actually, and just in case, I, I feel like there's going to be non-support here. But just to be safe, I want to go Nialigo instead of Salazzle. just to be safe. So let's see what we can do. Alright, we have 15 moves to do this. Did that a plus 5? I also added an attack power because honestly, I'm not getting enough activations off and I'm not getting enough damage off. So we got a puzzle here. So let's do what we can. Alright, let's do... Uh, this here and you can do that. No activations thus far. So already this is looking awesome. Get the mega evolution happening, even though it's really not going to get us anywhere unless there's a pincer at the top, which there isn't. Well, that unity power was nice. Oh, a match of three unity power. I'll take it. Let's get rid of this junk here, so now we should have a pretty clean board to work with. So 
So let's do this. That's not working, but you know what? We still got this, I think. Because we can get rid of this junk. can do this with the Charizard combo, and we'll be in pretty good shape, actually. In fact, I don't even think we're going to need the plus five. Nihilia comes through here, which doesn't even need to. Let's be honest. I'll finish it. So there we go. So, I mean, it would have come a little bit close without the plus five. But regardless, with that, we've taken down Turtwig. Next up is going to be a Bahama Snow. I've got a really bad feeling about this one. Alright. I'm thinking maybe we go fighting on this. I think fighting might be the way to go, only because it's a little bit more reliable activation-wise. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so we have 10 moves to do this. They had a plus 5, as well as an disruption delay and an attack power up. So, hopefully this should be enough to uh, take this thing down. I understand that will come at the expense of Beware coming through for us, but honestly, we just need to get whatever damage we can on this thing. So, let's get the Mega as soon as we possibly can. Alright, uh, this is not working. <laughs> Alright, let's get get the Mega Evolution rate. That's not it. Just great. Okay, there's the Mega. Of course, it used up pretty much almost our entire plus five, which is a problem, to say the least. Alright, let's get rid of here and here. Get rid of these barriers. Although the rocks also need to go. Get rid of the rocks. Hopefully that's all of them. Eh, we're almost near done with them. Okay. Let's go for Buzzball here. The disruption delay is almost over, I think. And by think, I mean fear. And you're going to disrupt this now. Great. Why has it got to be a one-turn disruption? Well, turn one disruption, should I say. Alright, let's do this. Get rid of this junk here. This is... This might all come down to uh, Stuffle in the end. Which I'm kind of afraid of. Uh, do, no, it's not. We can finish this. Actually, I don't know. You know what? Let's do this. We don't even need Stuffle to come through right there, see? Just to be safe, just in case, I, I, just, I wanted to go for Charizard so we could get a combo. Because I knew a combo would be enough to take this thing down. I just didn't know if one hit would be. Turns out, it was. With that, we have taken down Obama Snow. And it even dropped a little gift for us. Not that I really have any need for it. But there we go. So next up is going to be Cherubi. Alright, let's see what we can do. I think I'd rather go with Charizard than with uh, Nihiligo. Only because of the extra damage. So let's see what let's see how this goes. So we have eight moves to do this. I did add a plus five. Are you going to add any non-support, or are we good? I don't see any non-support here, so you know what? Let's go straight for... Let's go for the pincer here. Let's get the Mega Evolution. The question is, how do we want to do this? You know what, let's go for this. And let's get rid of this junk. 
go for here and here. Because now it's all about the combos. Alright, let's go here and here. Here and here. Why well, have to get rid of the pincer instead of the Charizard? Oh, get rid of the pincer instead of the Charizard. See, I, I don't like when that happens. Okay, let's get rid of this junk. I don't think we needed the plus five, to be honest. I think we're in a pretty good position at this point. And I think that Unity Power just sealed the deal. Alright, let's do this and this. Go here and here. And there we go. We don't even need the plus five. <laughs> we still would have had five moves without the plus five, so yeah, that was completely overkill. This should be a relatively easy itemless, uh, probably an easy itemless ass rank, to be honest. <laughs> but with that, we have taken down Cherubi. So next up is going to be Buneary. So let's see what we can do. Alright, we have 18 moves to do this. Now, every stage these days, I feel like, requires a bunch of items. Cherubi notwithstanding, since we added a plus 5, a disruption delay, and an attack power. Probably overkill, but, you know. It's all about being able to get the Ws, so I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes you just gotta use items because <laughs> the power creep is insane. Alright, let's do this. Honestly, there's so much junk in the Skyfall that it's probably going to take us until the end of the Disruption Delay, just to get rid of that nonsense. And, uh, well, ain't nobody got time for that, so let's just do this and see what we can do. Because the attack power should potentially uh, give us the extra edge we need on this thing. So we should be able to get rid of those blocks and combo uh, all we can. I mean, I will admit that a the complexity minus one would be over would be completely overkill in this stage. You can probably get away without using the without using all these items, but you know. It's up to you. <laughs> so disruption delay is kinda useful considering this thing does kind of add a lot of disruptions that make it impossible to do any moves. So the plus five is just an extra um helpful blanket just in case you you want to um since you are using other items. But with that, we actually got the S rank, but then again, not too difficult if you don't get the S rank to just not even beat that thing, so, you know, take it for what it is. So next up is going to be Hippaldon. Why do I feel like this is going to be one of those, another one of those stages that's going to require items? I just get that sinking feeling. That sinking feeling, as in I feel my wallet sinking. Alright. Whatever, that's what coin grinding is for. So, let's see what we can do. Okay, so we have nine moves to do this, although I did add a plus five, so we have 14 moves. Now, the power creep is real. This stage, it's insane. It's, it's, you only get nine moves, so I guess up to 14 moves, and there's no room for combos, and there's really not much you can really do with this, so, I don't know. I, I did go all in, because, honestly, I, I don't know how else I'm supposed to be able to actually do this, but I do think this should be sufficient, though, nonetheless. With all these items, it better be. <laughs> Um, 
because even with without the complexity, it's just it's it's not good enough for combos. The stage just isn't kind to combos, and unless you can get some serious activations with the unity power, it's just not gonna happen. Now the good thing is with all these items, we should be able to beat. It should be overkill, but uh, once again, I don't consider it overkill if you can't beat this thing without it. So take it for what it is. So let's finish this thing off and move on to the next stage. And this thing isn't even going to boost our last ditch effort. <laughs> so is this a stage I would consider farming on? Maybe the normal main stage? Uh, definitely not the UX stage. This is actually insane. So, I mean, my assumption is in these last hundred, um, in these last hundred main stages, even there. There we go, hundred combo. It took a hundred combo. Um, of course we still have ten moves left, so there's that. <laughs> but, still. The, um... It takes a lot of coins. It's gonna take us a lot. We're probably gonna have to use a bunch of complexity minus ones. And attack powers. Probably especially the attack powers. So, next up is going to be Cherim. Might as well go Pinsir instead of Shiny Ray. And I kinda wanna go Nihiligo instead of Salazzle. I feel like we're gonna have non-support to deal with, but once again, just to be safe, just in case. I mean, I mean, Neuvern's still there, so hopefully we can do this. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so we have 15 moves to do this. I did add a plus 5. I also added an attack power up, so that should help us out hopefully a little bit. Let's go for the Charizard here to do some serious damage to this thing, hopefully. Alright, let's go for Neuvern there. Honestly, we want to get the Mega off as soon as we can. Alright, let's do this. Get more Charizard damage here. As much as we can get, I'll take. Alright, that's like three right there. Three Unity Powers. I'll take it. Okay, let's do this. Alright, so there we're actually going to finally end up failing one. Alright, so there we're going to get the Mega off. So that's good. Let's do this. Let's do this. And we should be in really good shape now, actually. Because you're going to do this. I can go here. And now let's get rid of this junk here. And that's going to finish you off. So there we go. You're even going to drop a gift for us that I really have no need for. <laughs> but hey, there's an S rank. <laughs> so with that, we have, uh, seems you got your quirky plus to the next level. Cool. But with that, we have S rank Charum. Next up is going to be Grottle. Oh no. I have a really bad feeling about this. Alright, we have 18 moves to do this. I did actually go all in again because honestly, the power creep is just insane in these stages. It's actually insane. Um, I mean, I barely got any damage down on this thing without going with the complexity, so I, I don't know what to tell you. If, uh, it upsets you that I did this, I'm sorry. I, I don't really know how else I'm gonna be able to actually take this thing down, because even when we're getting those match of five unity power activations, just how little damage we're really doing to this thing is kind of insane. So, this way at least we can get some free combos on top of that. Um... And that should be enough to take this thing down, theoretically. Especially because then we should be able to get some activations with Unity Power afterward. So, we can get those Unity Power activations, and that, it, 
that combined with the um, with the combo damage should be enough to take this thing down, but it's seriously just insane. So, I mean, if you go with the complexity, with the, the complexity plus attack power will easily uh, get you the Ws, but it adds up. <laughs> it's a lot of coin grinding. Or you can just use jewels, but it's just a lot. So, my recommendation is if you're planning on taking on all these UX, these late UX stages, you're going to want jewels. You don't necessarily have to use them on the stage, you can just um, use all your coins up and um, and use them for like meow weekend Meowth grinding. That's also a, a viable option, I suppose. But this, as you can see, is overkill, but the problem is you might be able to beat this thing if you don't use a complexity, but it's probably a coin toss because if you can actually get rid of all those barriers in time, you might do enough, but once again, without the combos, you might not. It really it really depends, because when you beat this thing that early on, keep in mind, that's where the Disruption Delay is still gone. Once you're halfway through, when the Disruption Delay is gone, you're not going to do nearly as much damage, you're not going to do nearly as, as many combos because of all of the um, little disruptions constantly. But with that, we've taken down Grottle. So next up is going to be Lopany. Hopefully this stage won't require too much out of us. Unfortunately, Baneri wasn't even wasn't all that um, fun in games, so I get a very bad feeling about this stage. But let's see what we can do. All right, we have seven moves to do this. We did a plus five, so I guess we have twelve moves. Let's see what we can do here. Can we get a power hug? We're not getting a power hug, which is actually awful for us. So yeah, we're gonna need. This is going to come down to Stuffle in the end, isn't it? I get a very bad feeling it's going to come down to Stuffle in the end. Just get the stinking feeling. Oh boy. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Seriously, you're going to... Can stuff will stop comboing. Because the only way we can do this is if we actually get stuff to work for us. This is really bad. Okay, you're not coming through. Come on, Stuffle, I need you to be enough damage. Come on, be enough. Thank you! Alright. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's a better way of doing this with as little as a plus five. You can probably even do it itemlessly if you get better luck than me. But honestly, I feel like Stuffle's probably the the best way to go with this. But with that, we've taken down Lopany. I feel like I have relied on Stuffle way too much in these uh, later UX stages. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. And finally, we've got Mega Obama Snow. All right. So, I mean, I might as well go with. Um, A super effective mega such as Agron. So no reason to bring Beware to this if we're going to use a disruption delay on it. So and also I kind of don't want to come down to the last second with it. So let's go take on Mega Agron. Not Mega Agron. Mega Obama Snow. We're using Mega Agron. Well, I'm losing it. Let's do this. Mega Obama Snow, let's do this. We have 13 moves to do this. We're gonna get the Mega off with the Mega Start. We're using all these items. Let's take this thing down. Alright, no activation, but it's not the end of the world. We are at least getting rid of those, um, those blocks, so at least there's that. 
Alright, so you know what? We're getting an activation, so I'm willing to uh, sacrifice the uh, combo for that. Let's get rid of this and this. And let's just get a huge combo here. Or not. I guess that's also an, op an option. Okay, we can do this, we can do this, and this. Here, here, and here. Here, here, and here. Might as well get whatever combo we possibly can. Alright, get the demolish there. Uh... No unity power there, but it's not the end of the world. Here, here, and here. Here, here, and here. Really? I didn't get rid of the aggro? Well then. Alright, the disruption delay is now gone, which sucks, but we can do this, and I think we can still take this thing down. Here, here, and here. And that's game! So, there you have it! I mean, we did go all in, so it would kind of be uh, horrible if we <laughs> went all in and still couldn't beat this thing. But with that, we have taken down Mega Obama Snow. And we got six level ups! So, we got a lot of Pokemon we can level up. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, the power creep is real in these stages. And we are just scratching the surface. So, I believe there's like three bosses in this area in Zafro Coast. I think it's, what is it, Mega Obama Snow, Deoxys Defense, and I want to say Bacon Bird? If I recall correctly? Because I think the next one has the Shiny Xerneas, and then, um... And then we move on to, uh... Um, what is it? I think Shiny Rayquaza is there, and then we get to the Primal uh, Kyogre. So, we still have a ways to go, but 80 more stages, I suppose. Uh, uh, UX stages, that is. So, you know, we can take our time with this, I suppose. So, I, I guess I might go in like 10 or 15 uh, stage increments as we continue along for the rest of this. That said, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.